Hello, my loves. Let's begin the Breast Cancer and Barbie's Center Square or square wherever you want to use it. Today, I'm going to be using a Worsted 8 from Hearst Nurse, and their, their suggested hook is an I 5.5. So let us start with row one. Well, the start up and then row one. So first, we're going to begin with a chain of five. Three, four, five. And then if you want to use a magic circle, magic ring, go ahead. I'm going to use my chain of five. And then slip stitching back into that first stitch. Pull in a little tuck tuck. And then we will begin on round one. So I'm going to have chain one. And then back into this, into the center, we are going to do two double crochets together. So there was the first one. You start the double crochet and then you stop, leaving those two. Now I'm going to do the second one. Start the double crochet and stop. You have three loops on your hook and loopity loop go through all three and chain two. We are going to do that a total of eight times. You might have to pull your stuff over just a little um, if you find it gets a little too stuck. So let's do that seven more times. We are gonna have a total of eight petals, just like here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, here we go, ready, set, go. I'm gonna see if I can do the fast forward thing. So ready, set, go. So we've got our eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just got to make sure because if you don't get that eight right at the very beginning, it is um, going to throw everything off. So hold on, I got to fix my little thing here with my beautiful bowl from my Lala. It was on top of the yarn. So let me fix that. Okay, I am golden. Now let's go here. We're going to finish off. So after our chain two, eight little cluster two double crochets together clusters. We are gonna come into this one. So anatomy of the stitch, you can see the two doubles. There is our chain one. So we wanna go right there. And it's kind of the big one, you can see. Here's the, the chain two space. We don't wanna take those two. It's that one right there. Slide that doggy in there. Now you can do a color change here. You can keep going or you can snip off, whatever. I am going to snip off because we are going to change colors and just kind of move. So I slip stitch there. I'm going to tuck that a little tight and then I'm going to chain, chain. I'm going to single crochet and then pull that a little tight and then I am going to snip off. So I will meet you back for row number two. Okay now with row number two I am going to start with this little pale pink and you if you're going to keep going, you would just slip stitch into this chain two space, or we are gonna start into this chain two stitch. Chain two space. <laughs> I say that three times. Okay, so to start off, we are going to, I like to do a standing single crochet. So that's where you have your loop on your hook. You go in and you just drop a loop. I kind of pull that a little tight, you've got two, and just single crochet. See, it looks like a little single crochet, but make sure to tighten it down, okay? So that is our chain one, and what we're going to do now is a three double crochet together. And this is gonna be half of kind of the, the last, um, I guess you could call it like a shell cluster. Okay, so we're gonna do our three double crochets together, just like we did down here, but we're gonna do three of them instead. So there's our first one, there's our second one, there's our third one. So you will have four loops on your hook. And let's look at the anatomy again. You can see it, one, two, three, four. And you gotta kinda count our first little chain there. Because if, if you don't, it kinda looks a little um, too bulky. So anyway, there's those. Pull through all of the loops. And then we are going to chain two. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump over to that chain two space and we are going to do a three double crochet chain two cluster. 
So that's going to be two of them with a separate by a chain two. So let's start that. There's our first one. Pull through and hold. There's our second one. There's our third. There's four loops on the hook. Pull through all. Chain two. And then do another cluster right back into that same one. Three double crochets together. There's the first one. There's the second one. And there's the third one. Four loops, pull through all of them. So we've got our cluster, now chain two. Okay, that is what we're gonna do until we get back to this one. So in every single chain two space, give me a three double crochet chain two cluster. Say that again. <laughs> I'm gonna get you guys saying all these crazy long, <laughs> at least there's not quad trebles. Okay, ready, set, go. space so I'm back with you again so there's our two three pull through those last ones do our chain two and then do one more set of clusters there if I can chop that out I will <laughs> whoopsie daisy I missed two whole clusters Look at that, chain two. We have to end with one more cluster. Three doubles together. Ooh, see, my tail got in the way. That's all right, that's all right. We're gonna practice giving ourselves grace. There's our three. Give me my chain two. Now let's slip stitch into that. Bravo! There's that slip stitch, tug single crochet. <sighs> see, had a little foo pop, but we caught it. I caught it. I caught it. So now you can see all the little clusters. There's two in each. All right, snippy snip or slip stitch into the next chain two space and let's get ready to go. Okay, now we're ready for number three. And we are going to start squaring her off now. So we're done with the little flower. So here, again, it, like I said in the last round, if you are don't want to snip off, slip stitch into this next chain space. Or if you're changing colors, like I decided to change colors on this row. Um, in this, I did not. So you can see how it really rounds it off. But right now, I think I'm going to do the gray on this one. I kind of been changing them up a little bit, doing different things in the center and, you know, just playing around with them. But this one today, I am going to change my color on this, which is now the single crochet row to square it off. So here we go. Right here with our loop on our hook, we are going to do that standing single crochet that I like so much. Or you can slip stitch and chain one. And let's see, we will begin with one more. So we'll have two, you can see we have two singles right there. And then in the top of this, uh, I'm just gonna call it a cluster. We are going to single crochet in the top of that. Now, don't, don't get that little beautiful little circle right there. That is your chain one, chain two. The top of it is kind of like this little sideways V. So that's where we want that, okay? So now this is considered our corner right here. So now we are going to go across with single crochets, one in that chain space, one in the top of the cluster, one in the chain space, and, oops, and one in the top of the cluster, okay? So per our, our little recipe, 
we are going to, it's going to be seven of them. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do two more. Six, seven. Okay. So now we've got our two single crochets that we have in this first stitch, which is the beginning of our corner, and seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then into be our next corner. So we are going to single crochet two, chain two, and two singles right back into that same, creating our corner. Okay. So there, if, if you're a stitch marker person, you want to put a stitch marker right there. But I think it's pretty, it's pretty dominant. I mean, you can really see that that's the corner there. All right. So now we got to pull this to the side a little bit. See, it presented our little V and where we want to go. So right into the top of that cluster, then into the chain space, top of the cluster. You want to do that? Do seven stitches. So let's count them. One, two, three four, five, six, and seven. Oops. Did I do that right? Let me count them. That's it. Hey, we can always take a moment to count. Yep, yeah, okay. And now here's our next corner. So two singles. Chain two, two singles. Okay, pull that over to expose that top of that cluster and give me seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and you should be in the top of this cluster for seven. Now, corner again. Two singles, chain two, two singles. And then seven across. And seven in the top of that. You can see it's where you slip stitched. So we're going to go share a little spot with that little slip stitch right there. And that was our last, that was number seven. And then into that space with those first two singles, two singles. Then we are going to chain two. Actually, because my next round I have is going to be the gray with the V's, I am not going to snip off this round. If you want to snip off, you can do chain two and slip stitch into that first standing single crochet and snip off. Or you can do what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do a single crochet, I think, yeah. So chain one, and then here, do a single crochet. I wanted that, that's much better. Tighten that down. Okay, there's what that looks like. I am not going to snip off because our next row is going to be with this gray color. And they're the little V's that are gonna set up for our hearts. So, all right, get ready for number four. Ready, set, go. All right, we're ready for round four. And we so we had two singles and the chain two and then seven singles across. So just to recap. So here now we are going to start our round four. And if you trimmed off then just find a, a chain two space and slip stitch and single crochet or standing single crochet. And then right here, we are going to start with a chain one where I am going to go into the now, the V stitches, which are gonna set up for our little hearts. So in our first one, we are going to um, give me a three double crochets together cluster. So there's one, Start the second double, two, start the third double, three. So you've got your four on your hook, and we pull through and chain two. Now we're gonna come over here, and you can see there's two double crochet or two single crochets that are in that corner. We want to skip those, and we want to go into the single crochet that's in the top of this cluster. 
okay? And we wanna make a V. So that's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, then we are gonna chain one, and we're gonna skip two, one, two, and we are gonna V. That's a double with a chain one, and a double, chain one, and then we're gonna skip two, one, two, and then the third, we're gonna do a double, chain one, and the double, okay? Now we're to the end here, we're back to the, the two. We wanna jump over those with a chain two, and then into your corner space, we're gonna do three double crochet together, chain two clusters. So there's one, oops, let me start that over. I don't like how that wrapped. Okay. There's our first, our second, and our third. Pull through, and then give me two chains, and then right back into that for our corner, we're gonna do a three double crochet together cluster. Okay, there's our four pull through. So there's our little cluster. Now give me chain two. And we're gonna repeat that one, two, three more times, okay? So here. And into, you can kind of see it. So you gotta pull it. There's that, that hidden stitch. We wanna skip that. And just if you can't, if you, can't tell by pulling that apart or you're tired just look for this cluster and go right into what's above it right there there's our setup for our V do give me three V's I might speed this up right here ready set go So there's our last two. You can see, and then there's our little corner where our puff, or our puff. This little thingy, this, <laughs> the cluster is. I want to chain two to get over the top of those two chains, and in that chain space, give me one more three double crochets together. Two, and there's the third. Pull through. We are now going to chain two and slip stitch into the top of that or you can half double crochet to close, um, whatever you prefer. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna keep going with the same color, I would half double crochet to close, because we want that to be two double crochets there, or two single crochets to mimic what's over here so it doesn't pull. So, let me put this so you can see. So each side should have three Vs, and then the cluster corners. All right, we're ready for number five to stay alive. Ready, set, go. Okay, let's start with number five. I have gone back to my dark pink and I'm going to find, I usually like to go just to the, this is where we ended. I like to pop up to the next one. I just keep going around and around. So you don't have these starting clusters at every single corner. It tends, you tend to see that join. Um, so I stagger them so they don't stand out as much. So again, if you've stopped here with a half double crochet, you're just going to start in that same um, chain two space in the corner. But I want to start with this new color and I am going to do, I'm going to do my standing single crochet that I like, or you can do, just do a chain one. Tighten that down a little bit. And now I'm going to do a three double crochets together beginning cluster so there's one oops two and 
three with your four loops, pull through all of them, and chain two. That's gonna be like our go-to, is it's always the cluster with the chain two right there for most of this pattern. So now we are going to skip over and jump, jump over to the V. And we are going to do a V, what did I say, a puff V. So we're gonna yarn over. I kind of hold that with my finger because if you don't hold good tension, these v, these puffs don't come out nice. So we are gonna go into that V and draw up a loop. And we're gonna do that five times. So that was one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we got a bunch of loops. Okay, let's count them. We've got, this is our little yarn over. We don't wanna count these two right here. We wanna count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so don't count these two that are over here, just what's on there. And we wanna pull through and go through that, okay? Do you see how I just, and I'm leaving these two, kinda of swooped up and did that. Now with those last two, I wanna go through and pull through, okay? Give it just a little tug. And now we're gonna chain two, okay? And then we're gonna do another puff right back into that same stitch. So pull it over, give yourself some room, yarn over, I hold, and do give me five yarn overs. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. All those loops, go through all of them and leave that last one. We gotta leave that last one because it helps hold, it kind of helps the puffs not slant to the wrong way. So there you go. Pull through those last two, kind of give it a little tug, and chain two. Okay, do you see that? Now we're gonna jump right back over to this next one and do the same thing. So we do that three times in those V's. Okay, so we got our chain two, we're gonna do our puff V. Ready, set, go. So we just did our last little puff V, making our little hearts, and we're gonna skip these chain twos, we've chained two, and we're gonna jump right into the corner with a, corner, a cluster corner. So that's three double crochets together, chain two, three double crochets together. So I will meet you with the other side. I think you guys got this. Ready, set, go. have made it all the way back around and we have our last little chain two there and we are going to jump over here and do our last get that little tail out of the way our last three double crochets together in the corner there's our three now if you're going to change colors or you're going to keep colors if you can do what we've been doing so far you can chain two and slip stitch snip off and and change your color or do a um, chain one and a single crochet um, oh wait no you need to do a half double so 
here after you finish your cluster. If you're going to change color, sorry, if you're going to keep color um, pink on, do a half double crochet here. I am not. I'm going to change back to my gray. So I am going to chain two and slip stitch into the top of that cluster. Pull it, single crochet, and then I will snip off. Ooh, we're almost done. Just a couple more rows. Just a couple more finishing rows. We're gonna make these little hearts pop by doing some um, kind of, I kind of like a mosaic in between them because we're gonna jump down here and we're gonna work in that little chain one space in between the Vs. Um, and so, all right, are you ready for number six? Here we go with number six. I snipped off, I'm gonna go back to my gray. So here's where I ended. I'm going to go to the next corner and I am gonna do my standing single crochet, double crochet three together cluster. So here I'm going to now do my one, two, I've got my three, there's my four, pull through, chain two. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna kinda drop down and work in this V stitch row. So we pull that apart, you see this chain two right here? I am going to yarn over, I'm going to kinda pull that to the front of the work, and I'm gonna double crochet right there, pushing my work to the back, okay? So here's our just plain old double crochet worked in that chain two space. Then pull your work back up, and what we're going to do is right around this first puff, the first stitch in the puff V, and I'm going to do a front post single crochet. So I kind of pull my yarn down over the top so it really leaves that stitch open and do a single crochet around, around that puff. Okay, then I'll do it a couple more times and I'll get a little closer so you can see. So then here's our chain two space. We want to throw two single crochets in there. Okay, and then here we are with our second puff, and we want to do a front post. So go around the top of that, that puff, and then do your single crochet around it. And kind of help manipulate a little bit, you know, your, your yarn so it goes over the top of that stitch. Okay, now here we are going to come in and see this this was a single crochet in that row down below. We are going to yarn over, we're going to do the same thing, but I want to go around the whole thing, not just in the stitch, and do a double crochet. Push my work to the back and do a double crochet, okay? So it's same thing here. We're going to go around that post, or the around the puff, and do a single crochet. And then inside the chain two, we're going to do two singles. Go front post single around that puff. And then here's our, I call this a mosaic double because I'm going back in that stitch that I skipped down there and I'm doing a double. Again, working in front of that work, push that chain two back because we really want that to pop. See how it's making, it's kind of encapsulating your little heart there, okay? So here we are to another one. That around and do your little single two singles in the chain two space single crochet front post around that puff and then here we are to the end see where we have we're gonna do our little drop double mosaic double whatever you want to call it into that chain two space encapsulating okay now give me chain two and then what we're gonna do is jump over to the corner and do our cluster corner three double crochets together pull through all four chain two three double crochets together and I want to stop for a moment and just show you what we're doing okay I'm gonna go ahead and chain two Zoom, 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 and ready, set, go to the other side.
Okay, I'm coming back here. My last front post. Do one more drop, double mosaic thingy. There's that double crochet in the chain two space. Okay, and then I've got my chain two, and then I'm gonna finish with my last cluster, three double crochets together. And now this one, um, the next row, I'm gonna stay on with the gray. So I am going to pull through those. I'm going to chain, you know, do that chain one to lock it. And then I'm gonna do a half double crochet to close this. So yarn over, go into the top of your cluster and do a half double crochet. Kind of tighten it a little bit. And that helps set us up for the next, oops, stuck on my ring for the next, um, cause we're gonna start right here and just go with uh, some single crochets. Okay, here we go for number seven. We are going to chain one there and into this first, um, into the first, into this corner space, wherever if you changed your color, find a chain two space and slip stitch and chain one in there. And we're gonna do two single crochets to start our corner. Okay, so there's our two. One, two. And then in the top of this cluster where you can see we slip stitched into it, we wanna do a single crochet there, okay? Then into this chain two space, we wanna put two singles, okay? And then we wanna put a single in the top of that little mosaic double crochet. And then we're gonna do a single crochet in the top of the front post a single crochet in the top of the two singles, and then a single crochet in the top of the front post single. And then here we are to our mosaic again. Now this one, now that we're into this, we are when we go into that one, I wanna grab that little pink chain two right there and do my single over the top of it. It just, for me, helps secure it. I like it secure. I just think it looks um, neater. So we're gonna grab that and we're gonna do that single crochet around it. Now we're gonna do singles all the way across until we get to the next one. So one, two, three, and four. Oops. And then when we go grab that, get it all, go over the top of it with your single, and then across the top of the heart, one, two, oops, three, and four. And now on this last one, we're gonna leave that alone. We're just gonna go right into the top of that last one, and we're going to then two singles into that chain two space. So don't pick up that one. I just kinda liked how it um, left this kind of, um, it looked nicer. So if you wanna grab it, you can. If you want to, by all means, you can grab that and secure it. Um, if not, you can just let it float a little bit. So, and then we're gonna do our single crochet in the top of that cluster, and then jump to the chain two space and do two singles, chain two, two singles. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do around until you get all the way to the end. So, single crochet into the top, two singles, into the chain two space, Oops. single into the top of that drop or the mosaic, across the top of the heart with four, three and four, and there's our next drop. Snag it, cap it across the top. All right, so now we're gonna ready, set, go. If I can, again, hoping I was able to speed this up.
here we're coming to the end. There's our last little drop. Again, like I said, you can grab that chain two or you can just go into the top of that one. And we have our two singles. And then single in the top of the cluster and then two singles into the corner. And I am going to chain two and slip stitch into that first single. Chain, uh, sing, uh, what is that? That's a chain one. I've been saying single crochet there. It, it just kind of helps me cap it. So I am going to obviously fasten off there because the very last row, I'm going to go back to this light pink and just do a single crochet row all the way around. All right, we are ready for the eighth and final row. I've gone back to my little pink color. Again, you can do whatever color fancies your heart. And we are going to do my standing single crochet in the corner. There is my standing single. And I'm gonna do one more single crochet. So that gives us two single crochets in the corner. And oop, let me get my little Sometimes when you pull that tail up, it helps with the standing. And now what we're going to do is this one we are going to, you know how there's that kind of hidden single crochet that kind of gets tucked in there? We're going to skip that. And you can see right here in your corner, there's your two. I want to skip this one. I'm going to go into this one, the second single crochet. And I am going to single crochet all the way across. So this one is really easy row and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I hope you can put any colors you want. We would love to see them and I think I'm going to have this the hashtag for this be BCNB 2023 which is Breast Cancer and Barbies um, and you can show us what you make and I know I had a couple people say oh but what about other colors so I do have some where the hearts are red you can make those hearts any color you want again you can make this all one color you can every row do a different color um, play with it have fun um, I, I personally color control on things like this so using a self striping yarn here I am to the corner, let me pause. At the end there, I'm in the last stitch and I'm just gonna jump and do a two single crochet, chain two, single crochet, uh, two, sing blah, two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet corner, okay? Again, that one that is kind of hidden in there, skip that bad boy. Just consistency, always skip that one and then it won't go all wonky, but Yes, thanks for joining us. I am about to get a one more tutorial for another, this is an eight inch square. Um, the next one I'm gonna do is for our Luck of the Draw eight, Boggy Creek edition, and that is Nan's Next Knot's actual pattern that she had created for Luck of the Draw at the very beginning. I took her exact pattern and made it a square. So keep your eyes out. We will be launching this Breast Cancer and Barbies uh, will be coming this Tuesday, October. I believe it's the second or third, whatever the Tuesday is. <laughs> and then that Thursday will be Luck of the Draw. And we will then launch the, the 40 by 40 square for Luck of the Draw. Again, with that, you can make any pattern you want. It is a make along. Um, this one is also a, technically a make along. Um, because you can do really do any squares you want, but if you follow this, it is a cow. There's my chain two. So now I'm going to uh, be quiet for a minute and ready, set, go, and skirt to the end.
to my last corner, I'm going to do two single crochets. And because this is the end, I'm gonna chain two, and then I'm going to slip stitch back into that first standing double crochet, or standing single crochet. If I can get into it, there it is. Pull that tight, chain one, pull that tight, snipper off, snipper dipper, and there we go. We're gonna hide in all these ends, and you can block it. I really don't block it, I just come through and kind of do little tugs on it, because by the time we put it all together, it's it'll straighten itself out. So. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for being kind and giving me grace. This is my return after being away from my channel for several months, uh, nine months about. And so I wanted to come back with a bang. So bang, there it is. <laughs> oh, make sure to put comments down if you have any questions or contact me. My about tab has all of the deets. Uh, you can normally find all of my stuff also at creationsbyjax.com. And uh, for this actual blanket, watch She's Got Yarn 2, our Nancy. Uh, this is her little project that we are bringing together to honor uh, breast cancer awareness for October and the Barbie craze. So have a Barbie time. Bye.